October Red Boxing here with David Alorca. Welcome back. Unfortunate circumstances, but welcome back. Well, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. We're actually in the um, same venue that we had our, um, our first chat. But uh, yeah, extremely un un unfortunate circumstances, you know. We talk about unfortunate circumstances. What I'm trying to get different people's point of views because everyone's got a different point of view, personal, business. It varies. What are your thoughts on obviously the announcement that the fight's now off? Uh, I think it's the right, it's the right, it's the right decision. It's the right call to. I, I think it took a very long time for us to get here, and you know, what I mean, you might, maybe a little bit strong-armed into making that decision, but I think it's the it's the right decision. Um, it kind of sets. It might actually end up setting the wrong tone, or not even might. It would set the wrong t tone if the, if, the, if the fight had gone ahead. Um, obviously, there's loads of like stakeholders involved in in it, um, including all of the undercard fighters as well, who have spent like thousands and tens of thousands um, through camping. Um, I'm sure all of uh, your um, your fans know and understand what happens, but loads of people don't understand that you don't fight, you don't get paid, and uh, you don't get paid, which means all of the money that you spent during training camp for people that have been in training camp for 12 weeks, we're talking food, we're talking, um, you know, people stay away from home and, 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 and live in hotels for, for 12 weeks. All of that for all of these undercard fighters is, um, you know, is, is an expense now that they have to put on their shoulders. Um, so I'm, I, it's them that I feel sorry for more than people like myself. Obviously, um, there's loads of media here, people that have flown over from all over the world to come and see this. Um, and it's sad for them, but uh, for these fighters, it's, 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 it's massive for them. We talk about morality because that's something that's come into this. You know, a lot of people were saying from the get-go, you know, it should have been cancelled in the first place. Why has it waited so long for that decision to come out? What are your thoughts on that? That's, that's, a, that's a question we can, I can only ask uh, Eddie, to be honest with you. I, I have no idea why, um, or Eddie and, 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 um, and Callie. I, I don't know why it's taken so long. I think they were trying to find ways or means to see if it could if it could go go ahead. But I think the overwhelming uh, well the decision from the board and the overwhelming pressure from uh, media has 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 had an effect on it from that perspective. So it, it, at a certain point today, I was like, I don't I don't see how it could go ahead because the um, you know the amount of for all that's come out off the back of it. You don't. Nobody gets. Nobody gets away with it if if um, if it goes ahead. I'm going to have to cut it short there, only because everyone's marching upstairs, and it seems like we've had postponement and delay. Um, we're going to obviously go upstairs and go to the main press conference, but we'll carry this one again shortly. If you don't run off, yeah, yeah I might do. I might leg it. So you might not see me again. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, we stay ready.